All right, folks, here we go. <laughs> uh, 25th of January, a glorious Monday. Uh, actually, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it's about a quarter to 7 p.m. Uh, quite obviously, all the chores and doings are basically done today. It's pitch dark outside. Uh, it's been pretty chilly up here. Uh, we've had a couple of zero degree, if not below zero wind chill mornings, but uh, all is well. We continue to be pretty lucky uh, considering uh, what could be up here. Uh, all is well. So anyway, uh, I'll freely admit this is round number two. Round number two for uh, Milk House Talk for the 2021 AI Sire Picks. Uh, for this farm, I ended up doing probably it had to have been close to about a 30 minute video on Saturday evening after chores. Um, and as it turned out, I ended up just talking to myself for 30 minutes. It's the first time that's ever happened to me. And no, I didn't press picture, it was video, but it was just it was a froze video. But anyway, that nonsense crap doesn't matter. Uh, we're here to. <clears throat> Here to talk about this year's uh, AI program and the sires that I'm picking. I know that they're, that I've already picked. These are uh, these are signed, sealed, and locked in. Everything that we're speaking about tonight is happening. It's not uh, uh, you know speculation. This this is going on. Uh, <clears throat> I'm choosing to do this sit down milk house talk because I know that there's a lot of you that really appreciate um, my AI, the AI sires used on this farm. Whether it's for educational purposes, for your own well-being in your farm, which, uh, you know, I'd ask you to think twice to follow anything of my lead. I know about enough to get in trouble. But uh, also for a lot of you that uh, just kind of like to ingrain yourself in this channel, what goes on here, the doings, um, what goes into it, the list goes on and on. But uh, anyway, I'm uh, very, uh, very excited, honored, and pleased to uh, release to you my AI sires for this year. We're going to jibber-jabber for two more seconds here, and then you're going to start seeing them. So anyway, cheers. I've been a good boy for the most part this weekend. I'm having a beer on this Monday evening. I think I have it coming. I keep looking at the minutes up on top, make sure this thing's recording. Um, you need to understand <clears throat> that everything that we're about to speak of and I'm about to show you is all based around not only, of course, this farm's operation, and calving needs. This is a cow-calf operating farm. Um, I need calves to continue to help pay the bills, hopefully pay the bills. <coughs> this is also, there's a lot riding on all of this. For what did I, I've been talking for a while, my decision to go against the grain just a little bit uh, my famous words, you have to try something. It's also called diversity. Excuse me, diversifying. Um, I'm putting a lot of stock, no pun intended, a lot of effort, decision makings in this according. Do you guys see that mouse? That's my little buddy. Don't give me any crap for that. I got to take care of... Uh, there's a, uh, there's a little nest in that red box behind me. Pay no attention to that. He is my little buddy. In fact, there's about two or three of them. Um, I'm putting a lot, of, a lot into this for that sale for 2022, April 2022. And then, of course, we're going to be doing some talking here for the sale for 2023. Uh, I've decided to go that route, test the waters. I don't know if there's enough of a market up here to hold an on-the-farm sale. We're obviously talking about all AI specialty, I'm going to call it specialty breeding. 
Um, right now I have a vision <clears throat> of 10 bred heifers, 10 open heifers, and most likely four yearling bulls, and two, if not three, well, the, the three would be 2023, um, two-year-old bulls. So a lot of my decisions were based uh, this year on these years to come. Please keep in mind I don't rehearse these videos. If you would like to correct my language, that would be fine. I'm not going to pay any attention. I do this stuff shooting from the hip, and I'm happy of it. Okay, let's just get right into it. Enough of this gibber. First thing we're going to talk about. This is a bull that's been said to be a house hold name within a short amount of time. Iconic. You need to understand I've had a lot of conversations with Gen X who is just a treat to deal with. An absolute treat to deal with. Understand here, I'm not pushing products on you. I don't do that. Um, I don't owe Gen X anything. They don't owe me anything except for a fine line of respect within business. Uh, iconic. I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, he's a little pricey. Um, I'm, I'm taking a uh, <laughs> daily gamble, but I'm taking a gamble here, and I'm uh, simply going with five units, straws, of Iconic. Right now, I need for everybody to do this right now, that I'm going to get at least three bull calves out of Iconic. All right, there's a method for my madness here. We're going to keep going <clears throat> with two more, and then I'm going to explain this to you. Okay, next is Ashland. Followed by Ashland. Turning Point. Now I'm going to stop there and I'm going to explain these three sires to you. All three of these sires have been advised to me to be used for producing breeding bulls. Not only for myself, as everybody knows, AI or um, actual uh, I'm I'm two years and two years and two years out two years and out program. Not only breeding for myself, excuse me, my herd uh, for cleanup, but of course all three of these sires right here are within mines for breeding bulls for sale. Uh, pretty excited about this. Like I said, I kind of, I, I, I bit the bullet on, on, on Iconic. I went with five units of him. He's extremely expensive. Let's hold, let, let, let's just hope that it pays off. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's nothing but a daily gamble anyway. Um, and then of course, Turning Point and Ashland. Now, here's the deal. I'm putting some simplicity behind my AI sire needs for this year. What I am not going to do, what I can't do, what I don't have up here is to use 10 or 12 or 13 different ones, which you don't want to do anyway. What I'm trying to say is Iconic is especially for breeding bulls. <coughs> Turning point, Ashland as well. My goal right now is I'm going to start the AI program uh, probably by June 15th, third week of June, which is pretty tricky around my part. It's round up here, folks. It, that's tricky business. 
um, you know, come May, late May, and early April, we, we can have the actual absolute devil on our hands here with weather. So I'm going to have to get pretty crafty when it comes time for that part of the year in uh, collecting these animals that are AI bred with this specialty and um, housing them in more of a uh, sufficient, more comfortable manner. Um, I have a plan for that. We'll share it on a different video. So the goal here, like I said, middle of June, uh, third week of June, is to pick out roughly, of course they have to be within heat, um, I'd have to say 12, maybe 15 cows, cows that are going to be on their at least third or fourth calf. And an AI program with these sires right here. And hopefully, uh, I'm looking at a collection of, uh, you know, when it comes time for uh, spring of 2022, uh, I'm looking for a collection of uh, five, if not six, bulls. Uh, two are going to be for my own personal use. I can promise you that right now. The other four will be held for sale when these sales come. Now, here's the perfect world of convenience. Turning Point and Ashland are also going to be used because they are very uh, high marked calving ease, high marked docility, which is a big player for this farm, and a higher marked preg check rating. Turning Point and Ashland are also going to be used specifically and solely on the heifer lot. Now these are both pure black Angus. You need to understand that I'm going to have anywhere from about 10 to 12, if not 13, uh, pure black heifers out there. And then I have, uh, boy, I need to get my numbers straight here. Uh, anywhere, it's going to be anywhere from about 20 to 22 black baldies. Well, we got a perfect world going here. Uh, my pure blocks out there, those are scheduled for the sale of 2022 in April, April 2022, as the bred heifers. Uh, I, I, I do want those AI pure black. And then, of course, my black baldies that I'm keeping for myself, I want those AI pure black. Um, I'm starting to get repetitive here. I think you can understand what I'm saying. Anyway. Cheers. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you had a nice weekend. Um, I had to replace some windows today from the Packer game uh, yesterday evening. <laughs> no, I didn't have to replace any windows, but it was pretty close. Anyway, enough about all that. Okay, now we're going to go for another ease of convenience here. I got two more sires to cover. Uh, if you're a fan of the channel for any amount of time, you know that I have some red heifers out in the lot. Uh, one of them I'm immediately discounting. Um, she's just not going to cut the mustard. I took a little gamble on her, a little chance on her. It just isn't going to happen without a miracle, and I don't see that miracle happening. But comes down to it is I have six... breedable heifers within the heifer lot come this summer and I haven't marked down my dates prolifically when all the heifer breedings or um, AI breedings are going to take place I haven't gotten that far yet but I really need to dissect the calendar for that because basically with some of these with these heifers uh, I have in mind with this sale and yes I'm going to talk about this sale quite a bit it's important um that sale is going to be held within the first or second week of April 2022 to start. I want those heifers damn near a month away, the day of sale, a month away from calving. So anyway, between the heifers and the heifer lot, we're talking red Angus now. And of course, I have, um, shame on me, I, I, I don't recall the count. Let's just say about, uh, there, there's uh, 
There's five, fifteen. Uh, I think there's 18. 18 red Angus within the cow lot. Therefore, I got 20 units of Marksman. Now, remember now, I'm on the two year out and you're two years program and you're out. I've got all new AI sires starting this year. And almost everything that you see here is going to be used next year as well. I treat the AI sires just because, mainly because I keep back, uh, I'm keeping back so many heifers these days. I'm basically treating my AI sires just as I am my actual, my regular cleanup bulls. It's two years, gone, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to tell somebody, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to get off mark for a minute here. Um, anybody, uh, let's talk about prime cut. The calves that came out of prime cut are fantastic. I look forward to seeing his handiwork this spring as well. Um, I'm not going to sit here and push a product on you, and I'm not going to brag about this, that, the other thing, but I can tell you this. If you want a, if you want a for sure deal, I am, I have never, I, I, I'm so stinking proud and happy with the calves being produced out of prime cut. Unbelievable. So anyway, that covers the red Angus, and of course I'm using Marksman. All right, now because I am a black baldy farm, I prefer for, to have the black baldies for many multiple reasons. <coughs> Therefore, now granted, I got a lot of pure black on black breedings going on here this year, and it's of course for the sales. But um, and we're gonna we're gonna get to that. I I, I think I'm. Uh, uh, I'm lagging behind in a certain area. We're going to talk about that. But let's just talk about my other pure blacks for AI breeding. What do I need to make a black baldy? A Hereford. I have decided to go with Trust. Now, I took it a little bit easy this year um, on calving ease. Uh, I've had uh, some uh, smarter than me people tell me, uh, and, and it's well known. You gotta watch all that calving ease business. You do that, you're gonna end up with a damn herd of little cattle, and it's correct. For for an example, trust is not a is not really a well sought after sire for calving ease. And of course, he's going to be going into anything that comes within heat that is a pure black out in my yard. So, anyway. The one area that I might be a little shy on, because of all the black baldies that I do have out in my cow yard. Cheers. Is a straight black sire. Now, let's forget about Iconic, that's specialty. I've only got five units of that. But between Turning Point and Ashland, I've got 40 units. I don't think that that's going to cut it. If, I, if we're lucky enough to have an AI program that it just goes perfectly well, if I have to, I will end up having to get a little bit extra of one or the other. Um, because obviously I've, I've got quite the collection of black baldies out there now, and of course I want the pure black to go into them. That goes without saying. So all in all, we have a total of 85 units here. Trust me, I already took on some scheduled appointments to go back to my male dancing starting this weekend. <laughs> That never gets old. Good Lord Almighty. Uh, looking very forward to it. Like I said, AI is going to start middle to the third week of June for bull specific. Um, and then it's it's right off to the races uh, within the first week, uh, week and a half of July. To It's going to be an everyday affair. 
everyday affair up until anywhere from August 1st to August 10th. It just depends how AIN goes. Um, this past year was an absolute beautiful program. Uh, even Dad, uh, you know, who's a positive person, um, had said that this just, you, you couldn't ask for anything better. There goes that mouse again. Um, <clears throat> there was, uh, there were some days we were, we were AI and five, um, four or five, three on almost a regular basis. But anyway, long story short, we ended up AI and 61 head, um, this summer, which was a uh, hell of a program. Uh, not all of them took, of course, I, I just made up my calendar for calf expectancy this year. And what I do is I take my gestation chart um, where we put down all the breedings, whether it was a bull sighting breeding, and I need to see it. If, I, if, if the bulls are out and the bulls are on parade now, there goes another one. This is almost this is a little bit embarrassing. All right, I need to take care of those. Not tonight, though. Um, if the bulls are out doing their job as cleanup, I'm here to tell you something right now. If I'm running the yards, which you know I do, the pasture systems, if I see a cow or a heifer within heat, I don't mark that thing down on the chart. I need to see an absolute actual bull breeding. So what I did is I took the gestation chart with all the uh, uh, on-site bull breedings and then, of course, all of our AI documents and I made up the calving calendar expectancy for this coming year. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it was, uh, it's very healthy, very good. But uh, I do have a spring of 2021 call list, um, which I think maybe we need to get into someday here. Uh, it's made up of, uh, the, the call list is uh, multiple AI breedings. You know, at least two. And then a bull sighting breeding. If that cow or heifer does not, if it's not carrying within the spring and doesn't have a calf, it's going on the immediate calling list, which means you have to get rid of it. Um, I've been practicing a two strikes in your oat policy here uh, for... Uh, for some time and um, it doesn't take a genius to do the numbers and uh, uh, that's that's a significant loss you can't gamble on it unfortunately but uh, anyway we're getting off track uh, I have a great uh, I, I look so forward to this year's calving season <clears throat> I really do we got some big mamas out in that yard right now uh, in the next day or two, we'll take a little uh, take a little walk out there after an evening feeding, and uh, I'll, I'll show you some of them. Some of them you'd swear they're about to calf tomorrow, for God's sakes, but uh, which isn't the best damn thing here. I'm not bragging about that. Um, anyway, that's it, folks. Uh, you know, I really need to shout the name out, and I hope that I'm doing them some justice. I, I really do, even though I'm a little bit of a goofball with a goofball farming channel, uh, which I'm proud of. Um, this is about having fun, for God's sakes, and uh, just enjoying life and things and sharing a little bit of knowledge and education, if you want to use that word. Gen X. It's quite very obvious that I use the Gen X company for my AI sire needs. Uh, and... Uh, Everything else, uh, supplies, you know, you name it, the, uh, the nitrogen Phillips for the tank. But uh, anyway, if I'm not, if you're really interested, you can obviously go to the Gen X site uh, on the internet. And if you really want to digest it, see me, I'm a paper guy. I'm a paper and a catalog person. I've been on the site, don't get me wrong, I've been on it as of weeks ago. But I couldn't wait for this thing to show up. Um... If I'm not mistaken, you can most likely order one, um, the Beef Sire Directory for 2021. And uh, 
you know, don't bullshit them. They're not going to bullshit you. There's no other way to say it. Um, so, very lucky, very fortunate to deal with Gen X. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great mariage. Uh, mouse went by again. Yeah, you guys can getting taken care of tomorrow. Um, and really helps this farm along. But uh, one last time, I'm putting a lot of stock into this year's program for these sales that are coming up. Um, we need to do another milk house talk in time to come with the expectancy of what I have coming this spring, which of course is, in, is within mines to the sale in 2022 as well. Uh, bowls that were a specialty AI bread for producing bowls and the list goes on and on. Anyway, uh, not very professional, but I gave you the brass tacks and that's by God what matters. Uh, I know that there's a lot of you that appreciate this. Uh, HV Lineman, I, I, I hope this made your day. Um, I know you follow the AI program extensively. I think you've used a couple of sires that I have, if I'm not mistaken. And I really, I really like that. I, I, I think that's, I think that's pretty special, pretty neat. And uh, it's about sharing information, this, that, the other thing. Um, but uh, there's the brass tacks, and that's it. Um, I don't know. That's it, folks. In a partridge in a pear tree. Been lagging on videos here lately. I've had a couple things going on here. Uh, nothing bad, just you know, trying to keep up type stuff. But uh, within the next day or two, we'll, we'll take a uh, we'll take a nice little walk within the cow yard and uh, see how everybody's doing. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope everybody's doing okay. And uh, we're gonna talk to you sooner and later. Have a good evening.